Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon once again and um, well we're here to cook and we're here to make your day a special day once again and um, you know what in the month of Ramadan we've gone through I'm sure you've had people making some wursas, we've had dalchis, we've had different types of savouries and some sweet meats as well but today something that's also rather standard in the month of Ramadan is soup. So I'm going to make a butternut soup for you as well as a spinach and sweet but spinach sweet potato as well as pea soup I'm going to make for you I'm going to start off with the butternut soup but with a difference we're not going to have any thickness in our soup we're going to um, you know deviate from that we're going to use all natural products to try and thicken our soup as well now I thought let me let me do this I want to show you what you can do maybe the night before and then when you get home how you can start your soup off much quicker than if you start from scratch. This is what I did the night before. I've taken three potatoes, medium potatoes, two onions and two small butternut. This, and I put it all together with a bit of cardamom and I boiled it in a bit of salt with the onion in the mixture as well as you can see so there we have the potato we've got the butternut and we've got the onion all boiled with salt and cardamom and I let it stand overnight because what happens now is that cardamom taste will come through in the vegetables and into your soup as well so this is all that's done and I'm going to try and tie myself if you don't believe me mensa geloof me within five minutes you're gonna have a hot delicious bowl of butternut soup not the packet you can buy somewhere and then you go home and you're gonna eat it up no 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 remember Ramadan you can't lie don't say that you made the soup and then you bought it somewhere and you're warming it up no? Canala. we want to keep it all through you want to get all the barakah from uh, or your your month of Ramadan so very quickly it's boiled already what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make sure all the water is is out so we don't want too much too much water I want that last bits of of onion as well and this is what I'm going to do so you hand pick the cardamom sticks that's in there you don't want the cardamom sticks in there so you're gonna take out the cardamom sticks and now you've got your butternut and your potato and your onion now very simple people the reason why we have the potato in as well because if you just use the butternut it's going to be too rich of butternut the potato helps to thicken the whole um, soup sauce itself so it's simple you've got a blender if you don't have a blender a masher manual masher that's fine as well but that's if you've got a lot of stress and then you take the masher and you mash your veg but if you are stress free you've got time chilling no problem all you got to do is you got to take it and we're going to scoop it into our blender now some tips again oops that's me making a, a booby here doesn't matter how much you put in at the time but you don't want to put too many uh, pieces of potato and butternut in your blender at the same time because you're going to see what's going to happen it's going to become um, rather thick and sticky and elasticated and um, you want the blender to blend as smoothly as possible so what I'm going to do it's all going to go into the same pot in any case right um, so, so let's see uh, don't worry if it's uh, if it's whole or not it's going to go down the same hole so we got to half our ingredients are in the blender and here comes our first special ingredient I told you it's the butternut it's the potato the onion and all we're going to do is we're going to add milk we're going to add milk as the, the liquefying part of the of the soup because we want to have a nice thick creamy type of soup other than the vegetable soup that we are used to to having so I'm going to check the consistency as I go along and we're going to do all we do to do is press the button now you can have different types of colors as well different types of colors that you're going to have all I'm going and we're going to check did it blend properly or it doesn't need a bit 
more of a, of a, of a, of a turn. You can quickly check it out. I'm going to add another bit of, of milk with it as well, just so that it gives me the consistency that I am actually looking for. Right, on goes the blender. We'll just step away from the machine over here. And while that's blending, there we go. While that's blending, I've got a clear pot waiting for me. I can even use the, the same pot as well because then you don't need to dirty the dishes and you know my policy, I cook but I don't clean all dads. Don't fall into that trap. You cook, my friend, but you clean, you share the duties. Share, share them. Yeah, it's Ramadan. They can't say no because then the baraka also goes away. So share, share that as well. So now we've got the consistency and look how easily it pours. And this is what I'm looking for. Smooth, smooth potato and butternut. Um, the color that you're going to get as well, um, the color is going to be determined by the amount of, of butternut that you are going to use. So that was mostly potato. I'm going to do the last bit as I'm going to put in, and this will be a bit more yellow that we're going to see. But what did you notice? Absolutely no spices or or anything that's going to take the taste of the butternut away with the cinnamon and, and cardamom. Oh, sorry, I forgot, but I'm going to get some milk in here as well. Another tip, if you don't like the milk consistency in here, nothing wrong in using water as well. It's just going to be thinner and it's not going to give you that rich milky taste as, as well. So some of you are lactose intolerant, this maybe can be diluted with, with water and um, you can try something of that nature as well. So last bit, going in there. And it's as easy as all that. We're not going to make any fuss, fuss of it or anything like that. It goes in. And I think that should, that should do, the, do the trick. So there we go. In we, in we go. In goes the, the consistency. And now, believe me when I tell you, it's going to take four minutes on the pot. But before we go and we put that in the pot, I'm now going to add a bit of red chili because I want to give it a bit of a, a kick. So my a bit of red chili goes into the, to the butternut, not a lot. I also have some cardamom powder that I'm going to put in, cinnamon powder. Cinnamon, cardamom, put that in. That's going to give it a bit of a, a lovely taste and consistency. And then something that we can't go without, black pepper. So I've got the black pepper corns that's going in as well. But I won't put in too much because everybody has a different taste. You've also noticed that I haven't put in any salt. I will put in a bit uh, shortly, but you leave that to the person that's going to eat the soup. Some like it a bit salty, some want absolutely no salt and they want the, the butternut taste. You leave that to the person that's going to, going to eat the soup. This, was, this is just to give it a bit of a, a flavor as well. So that's gonna go on to my pot on a medium heat and I'm now going to just consistently stir it until it's nice and warm. Another thing, do not boil the soup. This soup must not be boiled. It must just get to a heat that's there to be eaten. Taste friendly heat. That's what we're going to do. So this you do very gently. And whilst I'm busy with the butternut, again, I just want to show the, the, the ladies out there that men can multitask. <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble very soon, I believe. So the dry ingredients, all I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it into the, the butternut and potato mixture. Now here comes the different take that you can put into your button soup. There's chives that you can use. You can use chives and you can put the chives into the butternut soup as well. You can take some basil and basil goes lovely with tomato as well. And you can use the basil in here. If you want a bit of mint, you can put the mint herb in as well. Make it as herby as you, as you wish, but the main thing is do not let the soup boil. We don't want boiled soup because we've already boiled the vegetables. 
So what we're gonna have with our soup, we've got butternut soup, we've got pea soup, but you wanna have something crunchy while you're eating the soup. Sometimes you get these um, beautiful uh, different types of crispy rolls, you get um, baguettes that you get, but if you don't have it, it's not a train smash. White bread. So we're gonna take two slices of white bread and um, I've got just some normal margarine butter and I'm going to just do the consistency and I'm going to spread it all over the, the sandwich. But watch what I'm going to do. We're not going to make it as boring as just a bit of butter on a, on a sandwich. I've got, I've got this one. So I've got some nice tandoori spice. I'm going to take the tandoori spice, sprinkle it on the, on the, on the white bread. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to toast this bread on the one side of the sandwich only. Not on both sides, I'm just going to do it on one side. So there we go. Let's take out the, our beautiful toasted bread. So I've got this beautiful toasted bread. Now I want to show you the different textures. Cooking is all about textures, just like singing. Dark, light. They talk about when they're singing it's a beautiful high-pitched voice with a with a baritone voice same with cooking different textures nice and crunchy on the outside you flip it around beautiful and soft so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this up into long rectangles we're gonna have, we're gonna have over there i'm gonna cut that up take this off and this we're just going to Zigzag and decorate it over here. Remember the tandoori spice on, on there? And I'm going to place this right in the middle of the soup bowls. I'm going to just move this to the one side over here. And now I'm going to share with you dishing the two different types of soups that we had made. There you have it. Fanny's butternut um, soup as well as sweet potato, pea and potato and spinach soup that we have with a crusty tandoori toasted bread. Bon appetit.